From a really young age, I was always in love with sports, but at the same time, I didn't know what adaptive sports were, and I always felt a bit of a barrier between myself and typical sports for able-bodied kids. I was able to grow up alongside my older brother, Isaac Doderlein, who's been doing jujitsu since he was 11 years old. That kind of helped me to create an idea in my head that anybody can do anything, especially in the world of sport. My name is Lyra Doderlein. I'm a 2022 Paralympian in the sport of cross-country skiing and biathlon. Well, I was born in 2003 in a little town in Saratov, Russia, with an immediate disability called arthrogryposis, and it affected both my hips and my legs and didn't allow me to walk the way kids typically would. So I was immediately put up for adoption, and just about two years later, my now parents from the U.S. adopted me. I was immediately put in orthotics. I used KFOs and crutches to get around up until the age of 14. I went through seven or eight procedures uh, trying to create better mobility and independence for me, especially as a young kid. It became tougher over time. And one year when I was around 13 years old, my doctor recommended amputations for the first time. My parents and I both were extremely stunned by the idea, but I quickly came to the conclusion that that was kind of the direction I needed to head into if I wanted to become more independent as a growing young woman and teenager at the time. About a year later, I decided to double amputate and start my recovery, which is kind of where everything spiraled into me, finding adaptive sports and hangar clinic. After my surgery, I was able to go into the hangar clinic and get my first prosthetics fit. And even just that first experience with my clinician and their assistant was pretty life-changing. Having an amputee there who worked there as a clinician was really special for a new patient like me. Having that comfort of knowing somebody is going through the same thing as you was really helpful. That's what I've always loved about Hanger Clinic is they've got so many people who are going through the same things and know exactly what kind of things you need being built into your prosthetics. The prosthetics that I wear day to day are C4 prosthetics. They're legit robots. They're just a microprocessor computer in both knees that are programmed to let me walk down stairs and ramps and upstairs and on all different terrain. I wouldn't have been able to walk in these legs without the help of Hanger Clinic. The first time I learned about sled hockey was at my first appointment getting prosthetics fit. The CMPT, he was missing one leg above the knee, he came in and he's like, hey, I play sled hockey, you should come try it. I went to my first practice about a week or two later and as soon as I got on the ice, it was one of those first moments where I realized just skating around felt so freeing and independent and it was just a surreal moment of realizing that this was what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. In 2019, I got to meet Oksana Masters, who is both the world champion and Paralympic all-star in cross-country skiing and biathlon and also cycling. She tried to recruit me through the US Para development team for skiing and biathlon. As soon as I got on the snow, it was kind of one of those events where I started skiing and realized that I loved the sport. And eventually I worked for about a year and a half. I was actually able to qualify for the 2022 Beijing Games. And I was able to compete there and I placed top 10 in a few races. It was just an amazing experience overall. No Bad Days kind of just came up. I feel like when I was kind of recovering from my amputations back in 2017, and because it can be really hard sometimes when you're going through a lot of ups and downs, whether it's in recovery from surgery, or training, or high school, or just regular day-to-day -day life. No Bad Days is kind of just trying to stay positive and kind of being uh, appreciative and grateful of all the opportunities that I've had, especially in adaptive sports.